New Passport 151 ML here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, the smallest member of the Passport family and cute as a prom date. It is the ultimate little couples camper, little getaway RV. Passports are true lightweights. And what I mean by that is you're going to see some other single axle little couples campers out there. Um, but they're not going to be a full 8 foot wide. Yet this is still less than 3,000 pounds. This is 2,940 pounds of dry weight. That is impressively lightweight. Now, because it's eight foot wide, you're also getting more trailer, and it's not built with a shorter height like a common single axle mini camper. So this is a full-sized RV. It's just snub nose. It's just a little guy. Um, you see the big uh, pass-through baggage compartment there that we were looking at. Those are 30-inch baggage doors, so you can actually get those nice folding lawn chairs in there. You don't have to try to just cut down to bag chairs. Um, you also saw a big white box. This comes with a two foot by four foot outside resin top waterproof table. So it, it comes with a picnic table uh, included. How cool is that? They use a little different chassis on a Passport. It's a lightweight um, aircraft style chassis. It's made with HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy. What that means to you in English is stronger yet lighter. It's one of the things, it's a big part of what they do uh, to help keep that weight down under 3,000 pounds on this guy. And again, uh, look around, there's, there's other single axle campers that weigh about 2,900 pounds, but they're not a full eight foot wide with a full um, interior height. They're usually shorter, thinner, less trailer for the same weight. That's what's so cool about a Passport. You can get more trailer per pound with an ultralight like a Passport, and these are the lightest of our lightweights. It says an easy adjust Solera awning. I'm, what I mean by easy adjust is when the awning comes out, you can literally take two fingers to pitch adjust that arm. What's cool is this is literally the only power awning on the market with a direct manual override. What I mean by that is there's just a little screw hole on the head over here. You pop that open, you just put like a little uh, electric screwdriver on it, run it in. That's all there is to it. Now back here we have a little outside shower um, uh, station. We have a uh, propane quick connect for outside grills. Uh, you know, this would be the perfect spot to put that picnic table they come included. You got the grill back there, you got power outlets right there. Uh, this, I mean, this this little trailer has everything. It's, it's a fully featured Passport, just smaller. A lot of single axle campers will cut down to a single entry step. You see that you're still getting double here. And in terms of quality and reliability, I think the last two or maybe three years in a row, Passport was among, if not, our very lowest instance of warranty claims uh, here at our dealership. And keep in mind, we stock actively over 400 units. We carry a ton of stuff. So for something to be that uh, reliable is impressive. I got a little speck of dust on there. Pardon my finger. Probably shouldn't touch the camera lens, but I don't know anything about uh, camera management, so there's that. Um, now, this is neat because it's a Murphy bed. It's a perfect little couples camper. You walk in, you got a place to sit down, you got a place to relax. You can uh, you can pull that table in here if you wanted to because that table could go inside or outside for like dining purposes. But this is a camper for those that do, not those that sit. You know, it's, it's not a big super slide 45 foot fifth wheel. It's a little Murphy bed, uh, 3000 pound SUV towable trailer that is ideal for just run around trips like uh, the, the bed over here. Uh, when it's down the bed position, you see we've got a normal bedside stand. We've got outlets there for your CPAPs and phone chargers and whatnot. Um, both wardrobes are fully mirrored so that it feels brighter in here. And you notice that both wardrobes are full length so you can get more hanging storage and overhead storage. Uh, these uh, nice uh, black uh, inserts here, they're reflective so you're getting to see a real good look at my balding head and my receding hairline. Sorry about that. We'll get back to the Murphy bed in just a moment. Um, over here, there is, uh, this is your entertainment center and extra storage. Now here's another difference between this single axle and a normal uh, narrow body, lower ceiling height mini camper. They're able to put in a full size refrigerator here. Very few single axles come with a full size fridge. They usually come with a five cubic foot, not a six. The difference being a five cubic foot has only one door and it has a freezer drawer built into it, so it's drastically reduced uh, refrigerator space. This has far more fridge space. Um, now the uh, TV here is obviously mounted on a swing arm. We got a nice little um, high def flat screen, but they uh, have a little Baptist medicine cabinet storage behind it. You can actually put some uh, you know, things back here. That is all in one AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. You can stream music off your phone to it. This does have a gas and electric water heater, which a lot of single axle campers do not have. 
a lot of times they'll be uh, gas only. Um, we have LED lights in here, um, becoming more common, still not the industry standard, so I still point that out. And a big full-size fifth wheel power uh, uh, 13,000 BTU air versus like a 5,000 BTU side mount air that you normally get in single axle mini campers. I'm trying to point out the things that make this different because you're going to look at it and go, why is it more money for a small trailer than the other 16 foot trailer you have over there? Because it's more trailer, it's physically bigger, yet it's not any heavier and it's got more equipment in it. That's the difference here. So good overhead storage. Now uh, they did really put like a normal command center over here because it's a small trailer. It doesn't need all those things. So we just have one switch for all of our interior lights and you can see even against the cabinet face the difference that makes. Power awning switch. That's all you need. You can look out that window, which is awesome by the way that they gave you a kitchen breeze through window. Little trailers usually have little sinks. They left a big sink in here, a double bowl sink in this. Now for, this is the perfect sink in my estimation for dry camping and here's why I say that. Um, if you are primitive camping, you want to conserve your water as much as you can. So you're going to tend to use this small sink when you're dry camping. When you're at a park, you're going to use the big one because you got water pressure and hey, no problem, the water just keeps coming. A lot of single axle mini campers have just a little two burner stove top. They went with a full size uh, normal trailer three burner stove over here with a little automatic sparker. That is cool. That extra little spark thing is one of those things you take for granted and it just means you don't have to like deal with trying to find matches or lighters or anything like that. This has awesome storage. By not including an oven, you've got great storage in here that normally you just would not have. And I wanted to actually go through with you and open all this up so you could see all the storage that's in here because it is pretty impressive actually. There is a, oh, there's sink covers down there too. I forgot to put those on. So, uh, you know, you've got great kitchen storage in this. Again, the sink covers here. Let me get these in place while we're talking. What's nice about this is a little camper, especially with a big sink, normally wouldn't have a whole lot in the way of countertop space. Well, now we're addressing that deficiency and we're giving you countertop space. And ladies, if your husband gets out of line, you can always smack him with this. Um, if you, uh, you know, feel like being a little kinky, maybe you can, you know, whatever, never mind. I'm not even going to get into that. I'll lose my job. <laughs> Camping's about having fun, guys. Start having a little bit of fun right now and you'll never regret it. I'm going to close all these drawers here. Uh, back here, this has a beautiful rear bath. This has one of the biggest bathrooms of any single axle trailer I've ever seen. Now, we have full shower wall surround paneling here like a normal passport because that's what they do down there. But uh, a lot of mini campers don't have that. They have just the wall panels that can become water damaged if you're not careful. Um, the uh, um, oh toilet over here has plenty of leg room for big guys like me. The uh, sink area, this is nothing but storage. Again, I'm actually going to stand in the shower to back up and give you a better view here. So you've got all kinds of storage down there for all of your like toilet paper, tank tablets, and all that stuff. Huge pocket over here, and not to be outdone by an even bigger extra closet above. The closet actually even goes down inside. To give you an idea how big it is, this is their propaganda poster from Passport. You can see how it's dwarfed by this giant closet in here. It is huge. A lot of single axle mini campers do not have a medicine cabinet. They just have a mirror glued to a wall. There's nothing wrong with that, but a medicine cabinet is better. It gives you a place to put your toothbrush, toothpaste, you know, uh, electric shaver, all that stuff, so it's not cluttering up your very limited counter space. This is an extremely popular model because it is so light and yet has so many things that just are not possible to find in other single axle SUV towable travel trailers. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. We are Halet RV, we are in Southern Michigan. We do hitching, pieces, parts, financing, trades, tow vehicles everything if you've got a goat and three bags of rice we are in business guys so give us a call take care stay safe have fun happy camping everyone